Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MATLAB simulation of PSO trained neural network in DPT for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So in order to implement this uh, MBPT, so I have referred following paper. So it is published on year 2020. Okay. The PSO optim uh, particle swarm optimization trying to feed forward neural network for uh, predict predicting the maximum power point for photovoltaic array. Okay. So normally the artificial neural network. So first you have to see the the structure of uh, artificial neural network. So this is structure of uh, artificial neural network. Okay. So it consists of uh, different layers. So that is called input layer, hidden layer, and output layer. Okay. So each layer will be connected by means of weights. Okay. For example, we consider input layer and hidden layer. So it will have, uh, it have some connections, right? Different connection. So each connection have different weights. Okay. For example, you consider W11, W12, W21. So these are the weights. So is uh, weights used for uh, connecting these two layers, input and uh, hidden layer, as well as you can see that there is the uh, connection between hidden layer to output, output layer, and also it has some weight for each connection. Okay. And also uh, you can see some uh, detail that mean so each neuron so this will be considered neurons okay so neuron of the hidden layer and then neuron in the output layer right and also this neuron have some bias okay so this is bias b1 b2 bn okay so normally this weights going to be up, uh, updated based upon uh, uh, input and uh, output uh, detail that means uh, we have to train the neural network we need to get the data input data and the target data okay so first we need to uh, uh, get the data of input that means here in mbpt algorithm here we, we need to train the model by means of uh, irradiation and temperature so here they mentioned that the, the, the target is they consider as a power reference, right? So instead of power reference, you have to take uh, V reference. So in this uh, implementation, okay, that means V reference nothing but the, so you have to calculate the voltage at maximum power point, right? So that voltage at maximum power point going to be taken as the target value for the training of neural network, okay? And also normally that weights and bias will be optimized uh, by means of normal, that means uh, already uh, available method, nothing but the classical method, LM method, right? LM algorithm used before uh, train this or update that uh, weights in the neural network based upon input and the output data, okay? But in this implementation, you have to use particle swarm optimization to update the weights between input and the hidden layer and the hidden layer to output layer and also uh, bias of the each neuron, right? So that going to be updated by means of particle swarm optimization with respect to the input data and the target data. Okay. So here we are going to consider input as the irradiation and the temperature and target going to be considered here. Instead of P reference here in this implementation, in this simulation, uh, we have to use the voltage at maximum power point as a target value. Okay. So in order to Collect the data that means irradiation temperature and then voltage at maximum power point in MATLAB, right? So, first we need to model that uh, PV panel. So, by using standard equation, okay? So, by using the standard uh, PV panel equation, you have to uh, collect the input uh, data like irradiation temperature and you have to collect the data that means voltage at maximum power point for different irradiation temperature, okay? 
So after that, we have to train this uh, neural network by means of that uh, uh, particle sum optimization. So next, you have to go to the MATLAB implementation for that mean training process. So here you can see that. Uh, so this is a program for the PV model. Okay. So here we need to provide a uh, detail that mean uh, short circuit current and then current at maximum power point and open circuit voltage and then uh, voltage at maximum power point and then current coefficient, current temperature coefficient and voltage temperature coefficient and then standard irradiation and temperature. So this detail, this detail, detail are at the standard test condition that mean at the stand that mean uh, uh, at 1000 watts per meter square and 20 degrees Celsius. So these are the standard value for that PV panel. So after that you have to collect the data. So for, for collecting the data, we are going to use this for loop. So here we are going to that mean we are mentioning that the temperature range is in between uh, 15 to 35. So in between this range, you have to collect the data, temperature data. So for that you have to use this formula. So this will be generate the random temperature for every uh, <coughs> increment of this loop right for loop so and also we are going to collect the data so for in order to collect the irradiation data the range will be fixed in between 0 to 1000 okay and then this equation is to for collect the irradiation data by means of this random number okay so this value also going to be changed every loop increment okay and also you have to collect uh, uh, pv panel uh, data that mean uh, the current at maximum power point and voltage at maximum power point and power at maximum power point so in this simulation we are going to consider only uh, that mean this is going to be consider target data that mean voltage maximum power point for a, a different temperature and irradiation okay so we are going to collect the data so input data going to be considered as uh, irradiation temperature and the output going to be considered as a voltage at maximum power point so these are the data going to be collected by means of this uh, program okay so after collection of data you have to execute the ps4 optimized new, uh, trained neural network okay so during this line of execution it comes to here okay so here you need to take the data input data first so in pso trained neural program so the inputs will be taken from the pv model and then target also taken from the pv model okay after execution of the pv model it will be stored in the workspace that workspace data going to be considered here and then the hidden neuron will be fixed here is then okay and then after that uh, by means of that hidden neuron we have to create the feed for a neural network by means of this uh, uh, function and then after that uh, <coughs> feed for a neural network that means after creation of that neural network right we have to configure that uh, uh, neural network based upon that input and output okay so this is configuration of the neural network and then uh, we have to get the weights of this uh, configured neural network by means of this function the weights and the bias of that neural network and then you have to create the objective function so this is objective function uh, that means we are going to uh, calculate the uh, root mean square error right from that uh, uh, trained network with the target so uh, that means uh, we have target value so after every training process you have some neural network so that going to be compared with the target with the trained uh, neural network output so from that we have to get the error so based upon that error we have to calculate the root mean square error okay so you have to calculate that root mean square error so you have to use the subjective function okay and then this is used for a training of neural network by means of pso okay and then finally so we'll get the <coughs> Uh, that mean trained neural networks after execution of PSO here okay after execution of PSO we will get some uh, that mean updated value for the two weights and bias so that going to be used for set up the neural network 
take the final uh, neural network going to be right on that meant check it with the target value okay so from that you have to calculate the error okay and then after uh, PSO iteration finally we will get some trained neural network so that will be stored in the this function yet okay so in order to get the, that mean this uh, trained neural network going to be used in this million block so for that we have to convert that uh, the trained neural network in the form of simulink model right so for that you have to use this function so next you have to see the objective function so this objective function then when you have to set up the neural network based upon weight from the pso after that we have to calculate the error that mean you have to uh, take subtraction between target and the actual output from that uh, neural network for every updation of uh, weights and bias based upon pso and then you have to calculate the root mean square error right mean square error right so this is going to be minimized by means of pso okay so this objective of this work pso trained the neural network okay so so this is a process of executing that uh, pso trained the neural network model right here i'm going to execute this model model is executing so you can see that you will get iteration right so every iteration you will see that the reduction that means reduction in the cost that means mean square error will be reducing right and then i will show you that pso this is a pso code we are using here so number of max number of iteration this consider is here is 100 and maximum number of population that mean particles is considered as here is 100 so this is a basic parameter of that uh, pso and then this is the equation used to for implementing pso so this uh, pso equation for uh, updating the velocity so after updating the velocity it going to be updated with the particles so this is going to be executed keep on up to the maximum iteration is reached to 100 right so we will wait up to 100 iteration so after 100 iteration we get the model right uh, that, that means uh, trained uh, neural network by means of pso okay in the form of simulink block okay So here you can see that the minimum cost is equal to 0 0.0161. That means it's nearer to 0. Okay. After completing uh, completing of PS4 neural network, finally you will get a, a trained neural network in the form of simulating block here. So this is the trained neural network by means of PS4. So this is the uh, variation of the cost function with respect to iteration, right? So this, um, this model can be used for implementing uh, MBPT in the solar PV system. Okay. So next we go to implement that uh, DSO trained neural network MBPT in the solar PV system. So this is a model created for implementing that uh, DSO trained neural network MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. So it consists of uh, solar panel so solar panel rating is uh, 250 watts and then uh, is the solar panel going to be connected to the load via 
boost converter okay so this is boost converter so this is load right and then another <coughs> PV panel receive two inputs one is irradiation another one is temperature so here we have to measure the PV panel parameter like voltage current so everything you have to measure here and then measured data going to be used here for uh, implementing that PV so trying to develop a PPT so here you have to only take that uh, voltage of PV panel so it will be given to the input for that PSO trend network so inside the PSO trend network that means this is the near network trained by the PSO okay and then it receives two inputs one is irradiation another one is temperature and then it will provide a voltage at maximum power point so it's going to be compared with the P panel voltage and after that it's going to be processed via PAED controller the controller is going to be generated the duty cycle okay so this duty cycle is going to be processed via the speed volume generator so it will generate the pulse according with the duty cycle from that neural network PP. that means PSO trained neural network MPPT so this pulse is going to be control the this IGPT so you have to extract the maximum power from that to PV panel okay so this is a process of PSO trained neural network MPPT algorithm for solar PV system so we need to check the uh, performance of the system so here we have to consider two conditions so one is uh, we have to consider uh, change in load condition okay you have to change the load for every 0.3 second so for that you have to implement three load uh, and it's connected via ideal switch the switch can be uh, turned on turned off for every 0.3 second okay so first uh, 0.3 second this r1 will be connected with the system after 0.3 r1 is dis disconnected r2 going to be connected with the system after 0.6 seconds r2 and r1 will be dis uh, r2 will be disconnected R3 going to be connected with the system. Okay. So now to implement this concept that in varying load condition. So here you have to maintain the irradiation and the temperature at the standard condition. That means I'm, I'm, I'm here we are going to maintain irradiation 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degree Celsius. So and I'm going to measure uh, different parameter that means power, power of PV panel and then power of uh, boost converter and then voltage of PV panel and the voltage of boost converter that means load voltage and load power and then here you have to measure the PV current and load current right so you have to measure this this parameter power voltage current and power okay So this is a 250 watts panel right that mean uh, at standard irradiation condition 1000 watts per meter square at 25 degrees celsius uh, the maximum power point will be 250 so it can be seen from here that mean just you have to click this model so you will get the rating of this panel that mean so here you can see that maximum power at a standard condition will be 250.205 watts and then open circuit voltage is 37 37.3 and then voltage at maximum power point is 30.7 and charge circuit current is 8.66 and current at maximum power point is 8.15 okay and then this is nothing but uh, this is alpha and beta okay so here you can plot the different uh, uh, that mean uh, ivpv characteristics of the considered panel with the change in irradiation with the uh, constant temperature 25 degrees celsius just have to click this one so you will get the different plots with respect to change in it that means different irradiation so here you can click this one you will get the maximum point for the different irradiation for 1000 watts per meter square the irradiation will be 250 for 800 is 199.9 for 600 is 149.6 for 400 is 98.9 and for 200 is 48.37 okay so these are the different uh, maximum point for the different irradiation with the 25 degrees Celsius.
so here we are mentioned that means the irradiation and the temperature kept at 1020 degrees celsius respectively so then uh, the pv panel should supply maximum power of 250 watts right so we have to check the performance of the system so here we are we have to change the load for every 0.3 second so in order to, if suppose the load will be changed okay if any load sudden load changes occur on the system okay the PSO neural, neural network MBPT should extract the maximum power from that P panel. Okay, so you have to check the performance for sudden change in load condition. So here you can see that the maximum power is extracted nearer to the 250 watts. So for every uh, every point, point three second load will be changed. Even though load change, they extracting the maximum power from the PV panel because of the PSO twenty neural network. So here also you can see that the maximum power is extracted from the PV panel. So this is nothing but a PV volt a PV power. This is load power. So this is PV current. This is load current. So this is PV voltage it is load voltage. Okay. So here you can see that if, if any changes in the load, the current will be maintained at the to the uh, maximum point, right? Current at maximum point, and also you can see that so when when change in load is occurring in the system, it will be maintained around at the voltage at maximum power point, right? So this is a variation of uh, voltage, load voltage, load current, and load power. Okay. So for this condition, the neural network that means PSO are trying to neural neural network in PPD is uh, effectively extract the maximum for power from the uh, PV system, the PV panel. So next you have to check the another condition. So next you have to uh, maintain the load constant. Okay, and then you have to change the irradiation. So every point two second, right? Here you can see that. So every point two second you have to change the irradiation that means uh, initially the irradiation will be 1000 after that you have to change to 800 600 400 and 200 and then you have to check the performance of the system so if irradiation going to be changed so this uh, PSO training network MBPT should extract the maximum power for particular uh, irradiation temperature condition right so you have to check the performance of this system with the changing irradiation so for 1000 watts per meter square it uh, extract maximum power of 250 for 800 is extract maximum power of 200 watts for 600 is extract the maximum power at 600 uh, around 150 watts for 400 the maximum power is extracted around 100 100 watts for uh, 200 the maximum power extracted around the 50 watts okay so you can check this uh, detail with the, the pv plot right so here you can see that for for 1000 is the 250 right here you can see that this 250 for 800 is around this 199 point so you can see that the maximum power is 199.9 okay for uh, 600 watts per meter square is power will be 149.6 so here you can see that 149.6 around 149.6 for 400 watts per meter square is 98.9 okay here also you can see that is around uh, 98.9 and then for 200 the maximum power is 48.37 so here also you can see that for 200 watts per meter square the power is around to 48.37 okay so for this condition also the pso trying to neural network in ppt is extract the maximum power for a change in irradiation condition also okay so for both condition the pso trend neural network in ppt uh, effectively extract the maximum power from the pv panel okay thank you for watching our videos so this model can be downloaded from official website of this lms solution so for that go to this here that means 
so itp itps.net so this is the official website for the dilemma solution and the youtube channel and then you go to download matlab file and then type eso trained here you can see that that model that means eso trained neural network so we can download this model in this website and one more one more oh, one more uh, announcement that means we are conducting online workshop online matlab workshop uh, the first one is uh, we are going to conduct wind energy powered ev charging station on june 13 2021 okay so you can book this uh, event and then you can uh, explore the positive points of wind energy powered ev charging station so this workshop this matlab workshop so it can be implemented uh, step by step uh, implementation of this uh, wind energy powered uh, EV charging station in the MATLAB. Okay. And also uh, we have uh, planned to conduct another workshop on PET controller for DC DC converter. This is also a MATLAB workshop. So when you have to attend this workshop, you will get the knowledge about uh, how to design a uh, DC DC converter and then how to design PET control for different uh, DC DC converter. So, if you have any interest to attend this event, we can put this event. Okay. So, thank you for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for uh, notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.